Shit is getting really strange. All you gotta do is look at the news. It's bringing a lot of people to prepping and one of the things that they're looking for is portable power. Portable gas generators versus portable power stations. I love my little gas generator, but I use my power station a whole lot more. Here are a bunch of rapid fire reasons why having a portable power station might be better for you or a bunch of reasons why having a portable power station in addition to a gas generator makes a whole lot of sense. Zero fuel smells or fumes. I swear, after every major power outage, the next day in the newspaper, you read about somebody who passed away because they got carbon monoxide poisoning from their gas generator, which means these are safe for indoor use. If there was a power outage, the fan on my fireplace insert wouldn't run. I wouldn't be able to heat my home. Here, I can just set it right next to the fan and turn it on. You can see that the fan is drawing 97 watts. That's gonna give me 16 hours of runtime. 16 hours of heat running this fan at 88% during a power outage. This you would have to place outside and run an extension cord inside the house. Portable power stations are a whole lot quieter than gas generators. You can use this in a tent or a bedroom and sleep through it. If you have a CPAP machine, you'll use this, not this. This has enough power to run most of the things you need it to. I've used it to run power tools. I needed to make a quick cut on my ghetto table saw, so it was easier just to bring the Blue Eddy. The technology on these has come a long way. This one has an impressive 1800 watt running power, 2700 watt lifting power. You don't have to fill this one with gas, no spark plugs, no carburetor issues. And this is simple push button start. You don't have to pull start anything. I have no problem pull starting this, but if you're a senior or somebody with some physical limitations, a whole lot easier. Because this one's so much quieter, there's a lower risk of theft. If you live in an apartment building or an urban center, you're gonna want a power station. You'll have limited opportunity to use a gas generator. This runs on gas and gas alone. This can be charged three ways. You can charge it with the DC port in your vehicle, portable solar panel compatible, and of course, AC charging. If you run out of gasoline and the gas stations have run dry, this thing's done for. But this, I've got a pile of portable solar panels upstairs that I could plug in and charge this thing during the day, use it at night. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you could only get one of these, which would you choose?